Good day everyone. Today, we are going to deal with an American writer, William Seward Burroughs. 1914-1997 He was an American writer, and visual artist. He belongs to the Beat Generation. He was also a major postmodernist author. The Beat Generation was a literary movement started by a group of authors whose work explored and influenced American culture and politics in the post-war era. It got popularized throughout the 1950s. The central elements of beat culture are the rejection of standard narrative values, making a spiritual quest, the exploration of American and Eastern religions, the rejection of economic materialism, and so on. He has authored 18 novels and novellas. Six collections of short stories. Four collections of essays. He's known by the pen name, William Lee. Much of Burroughs' works are semi-autobiographical. His plots were primarily drawn from his experiences as a heroin addict. His works also features frequent mystical, occult, or otherwise magical themes. Now, let's see some of his works. Junkie, Confessions of an Unredeemed Drug Addict, 1953. It was his first published work. It is semi-autobiographical. It focuses on Burroughs' life as a drug user and dealer. It was considered as a seminal text on the lifestyle of heroin addicts in the early 1950s. He is notable for his work, The Naked Lunch, 1959. The book is structured as a series of loosely connected vignettes. Vignettes is a short impressionistic scene that focuses on one moment or character and gives a keen impression about that character, an idea, setting, and an object. Burroughs stated that the chapters are intended to be read in any order. The novel was included in Time's 100 Best English Language Novels from 1923 to 2005. It's a non-linear narrative without a clear plot. The book begins with the adventures of William Lee, who is Burroughs' alter ego in the novel. There are short chapters, describing the different characters, he travels with and meets along the way. His another work, the Nova Trilogy, or the Cut Up Trilogy, is a name commonly given by critics, to a series of three experimental novels. Trilogy includes, The Soft Machine, 1961. The Ticket That Exploded, 1962. Nova Express, 1964. His another work, The Wild Boys, A Book of the Dead, 1971. It depicts a homosexual youth movement whose objective is the downfall of Western civilization, set in an apocalyptic late 20th century. His final trilogy of novels, known as the Red Knight Trilogy it includes, Cities of the Red Knight, 1981, The Place of Dead Roads, 1983, The Western Lands, 1987, Next is a part of the Red Knight Trilogy, Cities of the Red Knight, 1981. It is his first full-length novel. The plot involves a group of radical pirates, who seek the freedom to live under the articles, set out by Captain James Misson. That's it for today. Hope you all found it useful. If so, Remember to like, share as well as subscribe to my channel. Till then, 
Keep learning and growing. Let's grow together. Thank you.